Okay, we'll again uh, quickly start. So the training question for today's next half an hour session is that uh, why do people make loss? What are the elements they have not taken care or purposefully they are making loss or they want to declare themselves as bankrupt and uh, just avail a huge uh, State Bank of India loan like what Malia did and uh, or many of the entrepreneurs would have attended a course. I am not blaming you. Please don't mistake that I am blaming you. Many of you would like to have, a, many of you would like to take a loan and, uh, you know, make your assets or whatever it is. Anyway, let's say, so now very quickly going, we will, uh, we will uh, dissect this particular thing and uh, why do they make losses and what are the elements they are not taken. There are many ideas, everybody talks today about drones, okay, then uh, irrigation management, then pesticide spray using drones. These are all some of the startups which are coming, okay, then um, people want to invest in agriculture, Sensors and software, this is another big idea which is coming. People have been investing in this and try to make a business model money in out of this. So, whether they are doing this because it's an idea is innovative or because funds are available. See, there is a small joke. See, one fellow had lost a golden ring, uh, let us say on the, the darker side, but he was searching on the place where more light was there. So, then everybody asked him, hey, why are you searching for the the ring which you lost, you lost it on the left side. But why are you searching on the right side? That fellow told because more light is there on the right side and uh, it's easy for me to search. So many times it can happen like this because uh, money is available, you want to take a loan, you want to invest. Because money is there, you want to run a project. Okay, so these are all some of the things. Uh, people talk about the e-farm. What I'm trying to say is when people are going to pitch fund, pitch fund means when you put your DPR for the funding agency and give a presentation that is called pitch funding. That already yesterday we have discussed, Rakesh also has told. I am continuing from what Rakesh has told, please. I do not want to repeat. So now I assume that you already know how to make a detailed project report. You know the financial ratios and you know the returns on investment. You know the various uh, things. So, so what are the problem? What is the future road? How does it work? And what are the financial projections? This is a, basically what people will be seeing in pitch funding. And uh, so, suppose you are making a startup or you are making an entrepreneur. If you also have the same old product, you are also preparing idlis and say that you are an entrepreneur. We cannot say you are an entrepreneur. You are only a self-employed person. Please understand. See, that, suppose you are driving an auto and... Uh, you are driving a taxi. See, taxi is not a, driving is not a very innovative idea, but uh, it's a me too product. That means everybody is doing, you are also doing it. Something like everybody went for engineering, you also went for engineering. What is the uh, innovation there? Unless you know Java, Bava, Python, uh, Cobra and whatever. So the problem <laughs> has to be innovative. The agriculture producers are getting decomposed. So therefore you want to avoid this. So supply chain barriers may be there. So you to pitch your business based on the, if the supply chain is weak, you have a business opportunity. Uh, okay, the road ahead. So yesterday we told you when I discussed with this, uh, that lady, what's her name? Uh, Dr. Yadav, our agriculture economist. So we told you that the input factorization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what's her name? Uh, Yadav, Yadav. Jyoti ma'am. Yeah, Jyoti ma'am, yeah. Uh, Jyoti ma'am and me, we discussed that how to make a startup uh, using output commercialization, not input factorization. Jyotiji, I am using some of your uh, economics words and uh, kindly excuse because don't say that the uh, extension fellow should not use the economics word because we are both brothers and sisters and after all we are of the same discipline and uh, trying to get more income for the farmers. So uh, the input factorization is in place. That means a lot of input, agri-input companies are there. And startups are there. See, uh, for example, I used to take a course called as Agri Input and Output Marketing for PGDM guys. So I was trained at IAM for this and uh, the input is all very fine. But the output commercialization like this Jyoti and myself, what we told that uh, Krishi Jyoti, Krishak Jyoti, okay, where uh, we are trying to make a startup with about uh, 50 crores as an example. And uh, what we want to do is right at the farm gate. The moment he puts the produce, it is the job of me and Jyoti to just lift it up and establish a supply chain, value chain and uh, put it in the marketing network and whether online, offline or any other network marketing, uh, 
he should get his uh, uh, the pra, the uh, profits or his revenues right at his uh, bank account. So that's what me and Jyoti have been planning. So similarly, we have got so many solutions. So you know all these uh, examples are there. How it works? Okay, we may we might make an uh, app also. Okay, then once when consumers are confirming and once when the payment is realized, okay, we no, may put. Yeah, tell me, Jyoti. Right. Jyoti, tell me. Yeah. No, now please don't uh, don't speak there because if you have any question, you pause it here so that it will enrich our discussion, sir. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jyoti, can you just come on the visual, uh, Jyoti, so that I require yes. you, I require you to just uh, for this discussion only. Yeah, Jyoti, you come, na? Jyoti. I also want to see her. अरे भाई थोड़ा वीडियो ऑन करो ना यार. Because हमारी ही एग्जांपल अभी हम मिसाल दे रहे हैं ना यार. हाँ सर, ठीक है. वो ठीक है वीडियो में आ जाओ ना. Are you good, sir? हाँ वो क्या ठीक, Jyoti से, please. भागिए मत प्लीज बिकॉज या या ज्योति जी द होल प्रेजेंटेशन इज अबाउट पिच फंडिंग हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एस्टेब्लिश एंड व्हाट आर द बॉटल नेक्स्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट वो सब हो चुकी है सो लेट अस गो फर्दर एंड डू इट यस सर ओके ज्योति जी इज हियर सो व्हेन जॉर्ज व्हेन ज्योति जी एंड मी वी डिड वी आर गोइंग टू डू ऑल दिस एक्सरसाइजेस एंड डेफिनेटली विद एन इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ 50 करोड़ आर मल्लेश्वरीज दैट परफ्यूम इंडस्ट्री विद वेटिवेयर एंड that uh, tirumala uh, temples uh, residues of flower is going to be used that's what uday and this i'm just taking the same example forward so we have to be very careful and what are the other issues we have to do i told you i think jyoti will agree with me that uh, in case of the farmers income the output commercialization is a very weak link say yes jyoti yeah the input factorization is in place but the output marketing is a weak link that's why jyoti and me we have come out with this particular business model to have a startup for output commercialization that was the example which we were uh, you know uh, deliberating upon so now when we when we do all those things what is it man you ram somebody gave annotation request okay yeah so the business models okay how to make a bit in who are your target consumers financial projections obviously everything has to be made whether uh, me and jyoti make it or this malleshwari and uday are going to make it because i told you they are the entrepreneurs we are the startups so see it is not the question of how much money we are got but if you do not have all these uh, projections and uh, pitch funding items these are all called as pitch funding items please understand pitch funding means you know just like you you know i mean cricket that word has been taken from these uh, words so suppose before playing what uh, what does uh, ravi shastri or the cricket fellows do they give a pitch report so what is the pitch report so they say that the uh, soil is very hard it is a red soil in mohali stadium and then you know it may bounce uh, because mohali stadium is not a batting pitch mohali stadium is a bowling pitch so they say the moisture level is this much and normally in mohali pitch uh, nobody can ever make more than 250 in a 50 over match so all the finals were played in mohali with the with our with the, yeah that is called as a pitch report no, no please don't talk with yourself so therefore similarly in a business plan uh, myself jyoti or malleshwari and uday when we uh, put our financial projections of our project this is beyond the dpr see yesterday Rakesh told you how to prepare a detailed project report with all the ratios, and see today we are talking about feasibility, pitching it for funding, and then how we are going to take our business to the next level. So therefore, these are very important. So just like the pitch report, we should say that uh, uh, we should have a test business model. We should have a pilot scale. I told you about the ideation, incubation, acceleration, and diversification. The four stages yeah. which uh, in in any product life cycle we go and. Uh, of course i do not want to show very basic slides because all these issues you know therefore i am assuming that you know what is the product life cycle you know what is the bcg matrix now kindly don't discuss with yourself so i i assume that you know what is the bcg matrix especially when your market growth share is also increasing and your market share is also increasing so either you may be a cash cow or you may be a star or you may be a uh, dog on the cross roads or a question mark so all these models do exist and then 
So when we answer the question whether people should go for drone or they should go for protected cultivation or they can go for this output marketing startup like what me and Dr. Jyoti have planned or like the entrepreneur model what Malleshwari and Vudai planned for the uh, this uh, particular Agarbati industries using the flower waste. So all those things are existing, gentlemen. So now the, when you do the pitch funding, see today drones, everybody talks about drones. Because there is a lot of fund available in the Agri Infrastructure Fund, everybody would like to use about 5 crores at 3% rate of interest. See, in the IEAIF, Agri Infrastructure Fund, see, when you are getting huge money, people would like to use it as a business opportunity. But they might, what I wish this, because Dr. Jyoti is an Agri Economist PhD, so they might not have worked out the business feasibility, they might not have worked out the technical feasibility, they might not have worked out the market feasibility. This is my concern of today's discussion, how to uh, pitch all okay. these things. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. What's it? Uh, kindly don't speak with yourself. Please mute your things. Be in the session. So, okay, so all these ideas are there and uh, okay, you'll be seeing all your idea, whether it is drone or it is protected cultivation or it is any other idea. The basic uh, issues of working out the marketing costs, pilot uh, uh, studies and then pitch funding. These are all very basic to all the issues. And that is what I am covering in today's session. Okay, did you get it? And then, you know, look at this growth pattern here. What I am showing is, see here, you may start with about 50 crores. You may uh, go to 100 crores, 150 crores. That's how the growth is going to take place. And later on, you might become a unicorn. See, when you reach a particular higher volume of business, you are called as a unicorn. Okay, then don't say it is a unicorn and baby con. There's nothing like that. Unicorn is when a startup is going to, you know, have its own, Yeah, when it's more volume of business occurs, he's called as a unicorn. So we wish that every startup and entrepreneur is going to rise to the next level. They come out with an a, a innovative. See, today, you know, um, many of the school children in 10th standard, they are given this entrepreneurial uh, competition and all that. Business competitions are there for... PGDMA students, many of my students, you know, they attend and now even in IAM people get prizes. All those things are there. See, it is an innovative model which is going to make business and not a me-too product. You see how our society has changed. See, from about 100 years, it was a religion-based society. From religion-based society, we have come uh, just from 1904 onwards, especially when the aircraft was found out. So, and, uh, and up to the internet era, in the past 100, 120 years, we are now a scientific society with innovations, entrepreneurs, startups and all that. No longer religion is very important except for some votes or something. But today it's a business model. From a cash-based society, we have come to the class-based society. See, today it's all about innovation. It's all about smartphones. It's all about a new idea. It's a business idea. See, they say that although America has got more number of startups, but people are failing. The Indian startups are doing much better. That's what the review and the experience I wish to share here. So be proud that you are an Indian and especially with uh, uh, Modi ji's uh, Swavlamban Bharat, Atmanirbhar Bharat. I say you are coming out with an INS Vikrant, you are coming out with the LCA Tejas, you are coming out with the aircraft carrier. Fantastic. See, uh, many of my friends, uh, they are in this LCA project at Bangalore and uh, they are all my flatmates. Every evening we have a discussion. They told, I asked them, what is the difference between the LCA, the light combat aircraft and the Rafale jet, which we have imported from France. Hey, you know, Venkatesh, what is the difference Venkatesh? Just a minute, monkeys are coming here. Hello? Manju? Manju? What is the Sunita? monkeys have come here and I am trying to drive out the monkeys. Please close the door and don't talk with you between you, Chinese, please. Yeah. So, therefore, when I, when I was asking what is the difference between the LCA, the light compact aircraft, and the Rafale jet. 
So my friends tell me that the LCA makes more noise. They are unable to reduce the noise. Maybe uh, that use more muffler. Bagla ki unni class na di thay. But as the rafal jet is almost soundless, absolutely no sound. See, and if you see the cost of LCA and that, oh my God, it is thousand to two thousand times. So then I said, sir, what is the problem if sound is there? Let us use the LCA for our uh, Indian Air Force and uh, let us fight it. Then what they told is with the the big noise it makes, it does not qualify it to become a stealth fighter aircraft. Since yeah, stealth, you know, for example, you have the B-52 bomber, which is called as a stealth aircraft. It will also not allow you to come on the radar screen, and obviously the sound, you know, you know, today there are so many ultrasonic devices which can detect, especially in a radar, even the small sounds can be detected. So if you use the LCA for such combat aircrafts. So the moment your sound is uh, detected, you know, on the uh, it might sometimes it may not come on the radar screen, but still the enemy can uh, take advantage of that. That's why you know it is still not uh, fit for the airborne fighting. Did you? I think you understood the startup. We have got the technology in place, but we want this additional technologies of making it soundproof and uh, becoming it as a stealth bomber, and then uh, you know. Uh, Passing off the radar screen—that's very important. Similarly, many of our startups, you might have a me too product. Yesterday we were discussing about the value addition. We told that whether you are going to make concentrate and sell it, or you are going to—we asked this Nagamalleshwari whether you are going to sell the ready-made beverages. Many questions has been posed in these two three days, and you are the ones to answer that. Whether you are going to transport water or a beverage to long-distance rural marketing, six lakh forty-eight thousand villages in this country. And you are going to increase your marketing cost. See, I have already told you and made the statement: the bag should not be costlier than the meat inside it. See, if you do not bother much about your marketing cost, see, then mean what sort of business you are doing? See, technology alone cannot make marketing, gentlemen. Please, see, today's session is more about marketing: how to reduce the marketing cost, how to win in a market, and how to become a star performer in the BCG matrix, Boston Consulting Group. I will tell you all about. So anyway, all these issues we take care. I'm very quickly browsing these slides. Okay, these are all. Uh, this slide is going to be given to you, and then uh, kindly, <coughs> kindly uh, you can. I'll not explain everything. So now, already the value chain Tiwari has covered. I'm not going to repeat them. And uh, what are the agri tech innovations, in especially in horticulture and all these things and. Uh, Everywhere people say that I am going to do tetra pack. I will cut the vegetables and process it. Are you? These are again. See, did you really study whether uh, uh, selling fresh vegetables versus cut vegetables and where is your market? Except in urban areas, people may take. But uh, believe it, gentlemen, with the Indian type of cooking, they they don't prefer all these uh, things which are kept in the fridge and remove it and heat it and eat. So that is an American culture of eating. But in India. They wish to cut it fresh, put fresh masala. You know, Malayshori me knows. You know, there's a this brinjal curry, guttong kaya. You know, we make this. Yes, you, sir. Yeah, you cannot make guttong kaya. Keep it in the fridge and remove it and heat it and eat. The taste will go. See whether it is uh, nati kura or uh, pulso or whatever. Okay, whether veg or non-veg, people you ask Malayshori, she will tell uh, how to cook. Especially in Royal Sima, in many movies also this. Uh, What is it? Balaya sir showed that. What is it? Virus Sima Reddy. I saw the movie. So everywhere, what this Rajesh Sima fellow say? We want naughty curry pulso, naughty, naughty kura. We want fresh. So car. Naughty naughty. I don't know. See, no, no. Malayshri, what we are telling to say is, in India, our food habits. If you go Virus Sima Reddy, he showed in that first scene. He was in Istanbul, and there somebody was running a restaurant. Ragi Sangati, Nati Kodu Pulso. So that means even though Indians go abroad, they will not eat the abroad food. Please understand. Who will eat all the yes. burger and uh, they want it? They want this. Mm. See, suppose I am a South Indian fellow. See, you know, in Rajasthan the they do what is called as kurvi karam. You know, this pandu mirchi, this uh, uh, red uh, fruited uh, chilies. They are going to grind it and make a paste and. Uh, Put some uh, ghee in that and eat. That is a very dish. If you and me eat kurvi karam this much uh, at the beginning of my marriage, 
I did not know about Kurvi Karam. I ate so much. Bloody whole body is burning. So therefore, yeah, the taste is very, very native to the individual and the country and the ethnic tastes are there. Be careful. So whether you can make them as business models. See, for example, the Palakkad Matta rice in Kerala, it's a delicacy. Kerala is wherever they go throughout the world. It is a low glycemic rice, a brown color rice where it will digest very slowly. See, that's why, you know, the Kerala's don't have BP and sugar. Please understand. Because they eat Palakkad Matta rice. The food habit is like that. So, like this, you come out with, you know, innovative models, startups, and then there are a lot of Indian players, outside players. You should know all this game. Who are your competitors? What is the risk management you take? Whether you are going to go with this uh, ideation, incubation, acceleration, and diversification. And uh, see... Simply like Kingfisher Airlines, you should not put too much money without doing pilot study. Yes or no? It's the, it's the best yes, thing for any entrepreneur and a startup. See, uh, whether uh, this uh, Kingfisher, that Malia fellow is a fool of an ass, why did he make glass? See, for example, why Wola is making glass? First, they thought that we will uh, do online booking and all that. And uh, we will wait for our profits. And now everybody got accustomed to Wola. And now, if you increase the rate, nobody will... Uh, bother you for Ola. They will take a local taxi. Did you understand? Because these yeah. are all price sensitive customers. Customers are price sensitive. Okay, yeah. so there are many types of startups you've already told. Agri Biotechnology. Please come. Come. Ha, come, come. I tie a lot. Ha. You come, you sit here. I'm taking a class sweater. Good call it. You, you start your job. Ra Ramya is on leave. No matter. He class up in Okay, so therefore, friends, uh, my MBA student has come. So today's ideas are there, but ideas are not tested in the market. This is what I've been telling all my fellows. Whether it is nutrition management, sensors, high-tech agriculture, IoT, okay, all these are business models. And coming with the drone technology, all these things are there. Okay, especially in case of microfinance and agriculture, we had this... Uh, <coughs> Sagraha, you know, that man I met, he's a... PGTSA, he's from uh, Rajan Nagar campus. He runs the microcredit uh, society online. He gives you a loan online. Just to what you require is your Aadhaar card and PAN card. And uh, Yashweta, this is also an MBA session, business plan. I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, this is for this uh, uh, course on this women empowerment agri startups. Yeah, till level is there. You can also hear. No, you, you switch on. So, therefore, friends, uh, it is not the technology in place. But what I say is the startups and entrepreneurs. See, my student Shweta has come. So she is studying on, you know, this uh, agriculture department fellows, uh, trained people in exotic vegetables. Uh, uh, that was especially broccoli. Then what was the other one? Bell pepper, broccoli and? What, cucumber? Uh, English. See, people have trained our uh, fellows, especially in Darwar, Gadak and all that. English cucumber, bell pepper, and broccoli. Broccoli is brown broccoli, is it? Red or green? Green. See, now, if you take broccoli versus cauliflower, very simple example. Most of you might... Uh, Malayashri, I think you have seen broccoli and eaten broccoli. It's quite tasty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, now broccoli is priced at 60 rupees uh, for half a kg. But whereas cauliflower is... Uh, uh, cauliflower, about 20. 20 rupees, you will get one. Okay, broccoli yes, are smaller in shape, but let us say half kilo is 60 rupees, this is 20. So there is a 40 yes. rupees premium for broccoli. But yes. but normal people, they, they are not able to identify why broccoli should be used, what is the USB of broccoli. See, I know yes. when you prepare curry, I have eaten both broccoli and this one. Broccoli is more tastier, it can absorb more masalas as compared to the cauliflower. Did you get the point? Yes. So, unless, yes, unless you prove this unique selling proposition to the customers, you, your market cannot be tapped. This is what I am trying to say. Did you understand? Yes. So, similarly, yes. Samunati Finance, I told you, Sagraha, Microcredit, Ananya Finance, you know, these are all these financial technology apps and uh, even in insurance sector, you have got many people, but uh, people do not want to improve, increase their input cost. They wish to, you know, play with that. Okay, so that's how it is there. So many companies here, I'm just showing you this. It may be pre-sowing, pre-harvest, post-harvest. So many companies are coming. We have got Vekul, Vekisan, okay. 
all these things are there in place but uh, i cannot uh, guarantee you that many of these startups and uh, entrepreneurs are going to make profits because they might not have done the market feasibility studies okay these are uh, the krishi hub i have already told you these are all examples so now uh, very quickly about risk management i have been telling you so you should definitely have a see in, in case of this uh, feasibility of a business plan i'll be telling you risk management is one issue if you should know where to risk see many times i give this example and uh, my students you know they get hurt so suppose if i ask a young married couple on the day one in kalyana mantapam mitchell i ask this question what will you do if your partner dies definitely people will take slippers and they will start beating me so but uh, the, yeah but the risk management <laughs> issue goes with this premises so many times i ask such questions to my wife and kids and i got very negative response here my student shweta is also laughing here so nobody expects that the professor will ask this question see especially young boys and girls if i say that you are married today what will you do if your husband dies on the very first day so because you know i am not telling you the satyavan savitri stories here but that is a part of risk management so you should know this and always you know just like in business my student is laughing here so just like you have an entry plan for the business you should also have an exit plan for the business what is this with yeah other kind of points yeah see we have an entry plan for a business should you not have an exit plan for a business yes, sir. we marry somebody that's an entry plan yes, we should also know what if a divorce occurs or how you will be empowered and how you will run the future show but everybody yes. has a father like me will bless their daughter that let them wait live for 100 years but in a part of a risk management we should also have this exit plan so anyway that's the part of the story and how the risk utility is there see now many times you know see now risk aversion versus risk seeking very quickly i'll tell you because time is running off if you take risk you can come up yes or no maleshwari if you don't take risk yes, See, if you don't take risk and only prepare idlis, you will you will be a idli seller. But if you take risk and venture into whatever and uh, this uh, agarbati industry, what different types of idlis, different yeah. types of idlis. Yeah, you have to see. For example, I did not do PhD here. I went to IIR in New Delhi and did PhD. I I, I took the senior fellowship exam. Uh, then I took IIRS exam. I took lot of risk. See, in the initial yes. days, people were saying that you know this fellow does not have any money. but uh, you know i had only one uh, bloody credit card way back in 94 or 95 when i went for phd and uh, absolutely my salary is only 2200 so you know my credit card payment is very high so i had to book the railway ticket go to delhi it was all risk taking and you know people were laughing at me hey what is it you don't have money to eat yourself why you want to do phd you you become a rickshaw puller here in karnataka it's <laughs> I said, "Bloody fellows, V K Jarao is not here to become a rickshaw puller. I will take risk. I did PhD. I, I became a principal scientist. It's all fine. So when you take more risk, your payoff may be high. But when you don't take risk, you will never come up. So there is a saying that smooth seas will not produce skillful sailors. Yes, sir. No malicious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, if, you, if you don't take risk, you cannot come up. Okay. So you take risk, go up. so that is a part of the risk management okay then uh, so there are uh, how to uh, see the risk how to identify the risk all these are there for your reading i am not telling everything okay and then you know there is another important uh, how to analyze the risk you should take some expert opinion you should uh, go to people and there is another uh, principle of uh, least regret principle in case of risk management see once when i take a decision okay i should not regret see some people go on regretting ayyo i took risk i i i lost so some people also say like this ayyo i married i took risk if i was not married it would have been fine bani see i say bani are you don't matter bill 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 are you complete nimd are 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 the bill is come bani cut put it urgent so ala shweta just be careful monkeys barate ala bagal tagide ide parvai ha so therefore friends 
theory of least regret means especially in risk management very quickly we have to cover is getting 1045 at rush up see now are bhai see we marry we build a house in telugu it is called illu katti chudu pelli chesi chudu that means you build a house and you marry then only you will know what is real life i was also when i was a bachelor i was very happy so i thought nobody is there to attack me so when i married my wife came to attack me now i have a daughter so they will also have expectation so i am no longer enjoying that freedom see everywhere i am bound and tied and but uh, i feel it is worth to get married and have a daughter and you know at least who will give you love and affection see i can tell this uh, my students are like my daughters but one day these uh, chotos will go away so my daughter will remain so therefore every time theory of least regret says it is worth to take risk because the payoff is going to be high so like that we identify risk planning contingency plan means for example there is a nikra project in icr national uh, initiative for climate resilient agriculture see may, you know in telangana and many of our farmers when they do cotton sowing because of lack of rains it will all go away they, they sow it two or three times so even late sowing yeah. early sowing mid sowing they do that is a contingency plan see suppose why we are taking insurance and why we put gpf fund why we put something in lic so jeev jeevan ke okay that is kaam karne ke baad bhi aur jeevan ke baad bhi jeevan ke sath bhi so that is the insurance motto see you should take risk you should come up without taking risk nobody can come up so there was a hindi song ek ghar banaunga tere ghar ke samne these are all low risk songs okay but there are there are very high risk songs in hindi also okay na gaadi hogi na ghodi hogi pedal hi barat launga re are dinka that means the fellow takes risk and without barat he wants to marry okay <laughs> so these are all high risk category contingency plan is also there you will be seeing so there are so many response to risk see for example i will very strictly tell you see now i will tell this malleshwari she is sitting very happily there suddenly i will say there is a snake below her leg i will just announce so whether this malleshwari will keep quiet or uh, she will laugh or what immediately she will become panicked or there is a sir told there is a snake so then afterwards how she will respond she will analyze she sir is sitting uh, some thousand kilometers away and he is telling there is a snake below my leg so whether it is true so she will analyze they will assess the risk no no sir must have cracked a joke he has simply told so everybody will respond to the risk they will analyze they will track the risk okay and then after tracking if malleshwari comes to uh, she is hearing some feeble sound psh, psh, like that so then she will evaluate the risk and say yes yes sir is correct a snake is there therefore i should put one mind below my leg also it might bite <laughs> because she is the attending an online class so that is how the risk is tracked and then you are going to manage the risk similarly our business also whether vetti wear agarbatti or this krishak jyoti what we did are yaar so much of cost is involved our supply chain can be disrupted corona can come and you may not be able to do marketing nobody will buy this vetti wear juice what uh, malleshwari is doing because she is only knowing nellur and uh, she they know that song nellur nere jana okay like that you know she knows only about nellur she may not know about other places of marketing so she should analyze this risk and uh, do all that so that is a good project uh, risk management so uh, last but not the least when you talk about risk uh, see i asked these two three questions can you avoid risk can you then yes. uh, yeah can you simulate the risk see my father was yes. very good in uh, you know simulating us and preparing us for risk see although he was a professor we had a own house and uh, he had a lot of money but uh, he has trained us in such a way that uh, he will ask two three questions what will you do if you don't get engineering seat you know when i was in second pu he is asking some very beautiful questions at that time i reacted like a young man i fought with my father i scolded him i said appa you don't have right to hurt my ego all those things i also told but today after so many years i realize when i become a professor because of the questions he had asked so he used to ask what will you do if you don't get engineering really i missed the engineering seat by 3 marks i went into agriculture 
came to extension became a scientist all those things and see today i am in front of you so this is because of my father's question so you have to simulate the risk so you know just like our uh, indian army does a drill you know they will do a drill mock drill why the mock drill exercises are done to see your preparedness similarly when i do ideation incubation acceleration before acceleration when i do incubation for you guys i am going to assess your capabilities i am going to assess your preparedness as an entrepreneur as, as a startup very very important please understand this so the risk may come from vendors the risk may come from consultants contract employees then market changes and fluctuation see today recession is there already 23 uh, the recession yes. has come and you know we call it as a de dollarization i think shweta you know what is de dollarization that means every trade is not going to occur only in dollars so now we are using ruble yes. and rupee to buy the russian petrol and oil so because if you don't have dollars and gold reserves okay your economy is maybe upset these are all some of the government regulations and market change fluctuations where the risk is going to come you should analyze that and how that is going to affect your entrepreneur or the startup so these are all uh, for you so strategic risk management obviously you will be okay prioritizing taking action identifying monitoring all the risks and all that so srm means strategic risk management you will be doing all these things so threats and opportunities reputation okay weather issues may be there opportunities see every threat is an opportunity see many times see because there is a bad weather we are, because there is heavy rain then only we switch on the wiper of the car yes sir no maleshwari please yes sir see if the rain does not uh, if the if it does not rain uh, we will not test our wiper which fool will test yes. the wiper in the morning when the, it is a very sunny day nobody will test so yes, therefore what we do and uh, when we remove our car in the morning we put some water because we want to clean our glass shield with wiper so that it will perform two tasks one is you are already testing whether wiper is working and also you are cleaning your glass shield did you understand these are some routine yes. exercises see for example every day i have made my mobile phone to switch on at 7 o'clock in the morning i will not wait see because the moment it switch on at 7 o'clock it will make some sound whether battery is charged or not i still have 2 hours time to come to the office so that i am in a our state of preparedness this is very important so all these okay. checks you have to do as an entrepreneur or a startup financial savings role models all those things you can do okay so all this is for your uh, studying so risk inventory tool is there identifying assessing and prioritizing and then this is the risk inventory okay then uh, whether it is low risk or high risk see now i'll give another example risk may be insignificant please understand one thing see for example if i ask no no i i tell this example in the class and kindly don't mistake see sir now who for example i have a daughter or i tell many of my students so they'll say sir i am about to get married can you give me some suggestions so suppose if i say will you marry a handicapped fellow who is having aids and uh, who is about to die in under next 10 years who will marry such a fellow so because it is critical the risk level is high expected is high nobody will marry everybody at the time of marriage would like to marry a healthy person would like to marry a beautiful person would like to marry a person who is having entrepreneurship who is a very successful person in life and everybody will would like to have children at the end of the day okay uh, maybe in one or two years they should have they want offspring so if nothing is going to be there who will marry xyz sir tell me boy or girl okay so simply like telugu cinema if we say i am a very good person i am having a big heart i am having a big uh, business i am having 3000 acres who will marry hey walk on get us so therefore in the risk management an entrepreneur will have to study all these things please understand yes. yeah yeah please i i just i'm quickly concluding so you can also score the risk for uh, impact and likelihood see suppose you know the satyavan savitri story is very relevant here now people had told the astrology that the savitri's husband is going to die 
Please understand this. Maleshwari, I think this story is well known to you also. Say yes, Maleshwari. Yes, sir. So, now, although astrology was told, that's why it's called uh, Vatasavitri Katha. You know, when you read all the Katha, they will tell you. She married and Yamadharma Raja came and uh, Yamadharma Raja asked this Savitri, Are yaar, don't you know that your husband will die because his horoscopes are very bad and already Mrityu Yoga has come and uh, I am already come with my Pashana, Pasha and I am going to take away his death. But anyway, Yamadharma was very impressed with uh, this Savitri's um, pujas and uh, all her biodata. So he said, okay, I will grant you three wish. You ask Vara. So then immediately, you know what she asked. She said, I want to have 100 children and husband is already dead. Uh, uh, Yamadharma, like a fool, he said, okay, done, tatastu. So then immediately she asked, how can we have children without husband? So obviously husband had to come to life. So that is not a good way of doing risk management, please. Why I tell this in my class is, are when somebody is, see who will marry a old fellow who is about to die, man, you please tell me. <laughs> Don't uh, talk all rubbish. This is a risk management class. Entrepreneurs should be very careful when you do the risk. What is the likelihood? And, uh, you know, many people also take some sick units, you know, some factories which have become uh, loss-making factories. They take it, they will uh, do some U-turn strategy. They will make it into profit motives. See, for example, that... Uh, Steel Authority of India, okay, in Vishakhapatnam. Okay, yeah. the management changed and they made profit. Even today you can yes, make, sir. see when the management changes, you can still make the profit. So big, yes, sir. What is it called? S-A-I-L. Steel. Sales. 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 Yeah, that's no, called. <laughs> okay, okay, please, ha. Aapas mein baat mat kijiye, please uh, mute karo Priyanka ji. Priyanka ji, mute kijiye, okay. So, that is about risk management, what is the cost and all those things we have already told. Critical risk, high risk, moderate risk and low risk. So, if it is critical risk, uh, be careful. If it is low risk, it's okay. So, at the time of marriage or at the time of entrepreneurship or at the time of startups, all these exercises should be done. Okay. So, anyway, these are all uh, some of the issues. Uh, have already, uh, all this is for your reading. You can take it. Now, very quickly, I am going ahead. The risk is over. Then we will go to the business plan. What are the items to be seen in the business plan? We have There's already... no plan. You can't able to take screenshot also. You are going... That no, no, I will, I will give you this PPT, man. Why are your 600 slides is for you? Don't take screenshot. I will give you... Please, you yeah. check, kindly be in the session because everything I cannot explain. This is a higher level training and we should only tell the important points. I will give you all the PPT, please. I will mail it. Okay. Please, don't take. So, all those things are there. Don't take any screenshot. I will give you all that. Fine. So, all the risk you will be doing, friends, and you will do this analysis for yourself. I have already told you how to do it. I have given enough examples. Okay, then uh, this was regarding, uh, okay, one minute. So, car industry, some people, they did. One minute, let me. Yeah, I'll just see. Uh, we'll quickly go to the last concluding session. One minute. Yeah, very quickly, uh, okay, last few slides, uh, we'll end the session, it's getting 11. Dr. Murthy must have logged in, two minutes, sir. So, I'll just quickly browse this slides, five minutes, you give me Murthy, sir. So, business plan and business model, you'll be doing already, you should know your competition, company and customers. So, your description, market analysis, we have already disclaimed enough. So, what is your financial projections you'll be doing, whether it is a business model, B2B, B2C or B2G, SWOT analysis you'll be doing, competitor analysis you'll be doing. Marketing and sales, where your supply chain, value chain you will be doing. 
then marketing mix especially the four piece product price place promotion and strategy pro promotion how much you should spend on each portfolio so whether you are going to do stp approach segmentation differentiation targeting and positioning and who are your niche customers where you can market all those things have been discussed in this i'm just summing up okay this is the product life cycle introduction stage growth stage maturity and decline stage and the same thing is when i put it to the startup the ideation incubation acceleration and diversification stages be very careful and do the analysis don't think technology alone will work and money will work you even if you have money yeah. you are not smart even if you have technology you are not smart if you are able to market it you are smart that's why we say india is smart swavalamban bharat atmanirbhar bharat okay even without dollars we can run and uh, our sustainable lifestyle is very important so we will also have the logistics and distribution and operations plan financial planning obviously mr is equal to mc marginal return is equal to marginal cost where you will be taking the first order differential and obviously your revenue should be higher than the cost if you are a fool of an ass your revenue should be less and cost is more that's why you do less whether you are doing idli business dosa business or whatty where or anything you cannot make your cost very high you should earn something otherwise don't do the business okay so okay fine uh, these are you can have a spreadsheet and do all these things uh, especially what is your earnings every day you should know see if you do not know you know yesterday we got a credit somebody debited whether some break even point i already gave you this example in the very first class quickly i will give uh, shrinivas murthy sir kindly tell me if you are logged in i will just conclude see now in a break even point maleshwari and others uh, jyoti uh, dr jyoti be here please okay. this is this is your uh, economics example see suppose you buy three bananas at the rate of 2 uh, rupees each so what is our cost our cost is 6 rupees so now okay. i will ask you to sell the bananas with 1 rupee profit that means 3 rupees you can sell the banana then i ask my uh, students how many bananas you to you should sell to recover your fixed cost which is also called as the break even point So three into two, so two bananas you can sell and get six rupees, which is your fixed cost. And rest one banana you can eat it or sell it also and make three rupees profit and you exit the market. Did you understand what is break even point, Malayshwari? Yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. all. That's all. So don't go with all the formulas and all that. You should be able to make your fixed cost. Suppose you have uh, Malayshwari has invested five crores fixed cost without earning five crores or the. her emi she should not leave the market and do lakshmi puja that is not is expected from this malleshwari malleshwari yes, can malleshwari can do lakshmi puja call me for diwali and give me laddu and all that but she should at least have the break even point she should not say that uh, tirupati balaji will take care of my business he will also take care if uh, this malleshwari knows what is break even point so anyway financial yes, planning Okay, internal rate. See, for example, Telugu movies, uh, Malayshree. See, they would have invested two hundred crores RRR, RRR, Bahu Bali. These are all big movie budgets. So, the internal rate of return means a movie will be successful or failure within first five days. Yes or no? Say yes. Yes, sir. That means if the movie becomes successful in the first five days, because today it is all global rights and uh, throughout the world it will be released in a single. Uh, See, so not like uh, not like World and Days. Two two years the movie will run. So if the entire two hundred crores is recovered within the first five days, it has not only achieved break even, but there is a very high internal rate of return. Say yes. Yes, sir. So if that fellow does not recover three hundred crores in the first five days, whether R R R, Bahu Bali, Kantara, or X Y Z, we say that the movie has made loss. Therefore, movie as a business has very high internal rate of return. Internal rate of return yes. may be more than a hundred, two hundred percent. See, Kantara movie yes, made two hundred crores. Initial investment was only fifty crores. So, therefore, within why a movie is successful? Don't ask me because I am not in the film industry. But I am giving an example of this financial planning. Okay, okay all those things are yes. there. Then the HR management. Suppose you know you employ ten people, they go on strike, and somebody uh, murders the other fellow. Somebody comes to the office by drinking liquor. all your human resources is gone you should manage properly and make a good business risk assessment already has been told okay this is how it is going to be done so thank you very much friends uh, uh, although it was a fast lecture it was a short lecture and a good lecture i am going to stop sharing the screen okay so thank that, you thank you very much yes yeah, so now dr shrinivas murthy will come 
so i will uh, stop sharing okay so thank you very much uh, i hope that uh, i'm sorry murti just uh, i'm very very sorry i took your yes, uh, things so uh, friends now i introduce my friend dr shrinivas murti is a principal scientist agriculture economics uh, working on various uh, business models and alternate business models and so on and so forth okay and today he is going to talk to you about innovative marketing models in entrepreneurship especially for women and uh, many times in a one to one discussion uh, murti and me we keep asking especially in horticulture it's a it's a little bit different ball game unlike uh, paddy marketing and all that and many are high perishables with low shelf life and uh, unless you do value addition processing uh, your uh, marketing models don't exist over to dr shrinivas murthy uh, uday can you make dr shrinivas murthy as a presenter please co host so that he will share his screen uday nana uday uday sarni co host yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir alla nu palkat le de entra bhai nu alla sir yes sir yes sir ore alla arka no ok nimsham ik rundu session la alla murthy sarni co host chai ha Over to Dr. Murthy. Uh, share your screen, sir. Murthy ji, today, na na, kudi visual ra kor do. Yes, sir. Video, video on chase kar bhai nu. Sir, chase sir na. Oh, okay, okay. Sir, okay. Sir, name manam sir. Sir, name manam ni. Sir, name. Ha, okay, okay, fine. So, sir, sir, pair manam sir. Kada, good sir. Is fine. ఏ మాట్లాడొద్దు అక్కడ ఓకే సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఓవర్ టు ఐ హవ్ ఆల్రెడీ షేర్ మై మొబైల్ నంబర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఐఎమ్ జస్ట్ ఫిల్లింగ్ అప్ ది గ్యాప్ బికాస్ మూర్తి సార్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు షేర్ వన్ మినిట్ ఫోర్ వన్ ఎయిట్ ఓకే సార్ మూర్తి జీ కేమ్ యా సో మూర్తి సార్ హస్ కమ్ సో షేర్ యువర్ స్క్రీన్ సార్ యా Yeah, I'm able to share. One minute, sir. Hello, sir. Share data. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Done, sir. Now you, now you try, sir. Again. Now you try, sir. Now you try. Yes. Now you try. No, you cannot. The same message is coming. Okay. Hello, hello, sir. Murthy, can you share that slide to uh, to me so that he will uh, put it from his end? Hello, you try once again, sir. You you log out and join again, sir. You may be able to. You log out. No, sir. Now you try, sir. Now you try once again. Now you try. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it is coming now. It's fine. Ah, perfect. 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 Yes, perfect. yes, you are successful, sir. Successful. Okay, over to Dr. Shinwas Murthy for innovative models. Yeah, in yeah, please. I'll meet you later, friends. I'm stopping my video. Yeah. Uh, morning, morning. Hello, I am audible. Yes. Audible, sir. Audible, audible. Yes. Yes. Uh, good morning to everyone. I am Dr. Shrinivas Murthy, a principal scientist from Indian Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru, a colleague of J. Raghunath. Now you have heard uh, uh, Dr. Rao's uh, the presentation, uh, a, a exhaustive presentation on uh, some of the aspects of uh, related to entrepreneurship. The topic given to me for to share. whatever experience we had at articulture uh, institute uh, is on emerging and innovating marketing model